did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind? I believe that Tim Walls won, but it definitely was not the blowout that we saw with Kamala Harris. And ultimately, even though I think that Tim Walls performed better, I think that this probably isn't going to move the needle in either direction. I think that J.D. Vance had a really monumental task ahead of him, and that was to come off as likable since he is the least likable person in the race currently, according to favorability ratings. I don't think he delivered that. I, I think that at the start, he looked really confident and strong and tried to appear normal. But like throughout the debate, little by little, he unraveled. He couldn't answer questions, whereas Tim Walls did answer the questions and he explained it really well. And he has the advantage of coming from a state that's very successful and he's the governor of that state. So he could speak to policies. He can cut through the bullshit, the fear mongering uh, because he has that executive experience. So overall, Tim Walls won. It wasn't the knockout punch that I was hoping for, in my opinion. But um, nonetheless, I feel like this is probably going to be a bit of a wash. I don't know what you all think. I mean, I, I just don't think that the, the, he they went in it the same way. Harris, mm -hmm. as, as a woman and facing Trump, had to come across in a different way uh, based on the public perception of, of her. Mm -hmm. And that Tim Walls had to come into this with a different... Uh, a strategy based on the public perception of him. Um, th there was no reason for him to go in and destroy JD Vance. That's not his. That's not his 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 gimmick. That's not his new facade that they have him with, where he's the 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 friendly uh, Midwestern uh, you know American. He's the uh, he's yeah. the guy who uh, is the cliche Middle America guy, but he's a Democrat. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's the, you know, right. that's uh, that's the, Didn't that's that the M Night wow. Shyamalan swerve there. That's his size. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. I don't think they want him to go in, and and destroy Vance. They wanted him to go out there as like the guy who the who the the America that isn't comfortable with Kamala will be comfortable in the soothing arms of America's daddy Tim Walls. That's what. Mm -hmm. That's literally yeah. what his role is. Yeah. Right. No, I think you're right. I, I think he he did what he needed to do. Like, it's just obviously I'm not the right audience for this debate. Like, mm -hmm. I wanted to see different. I wanted to see blood. Like, <laughs> I wanted to see some cheeks get clapped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I was I was hoping for something, something then, more. But clearly yeah. you're you need right. To hope for Kamala, you need to hope for a Kamala J.D. Vance uh, debate and then she'll spread them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I would yeah. love to see Kamala go. I, well, I was clap gonna say that JD before, as, as Mike would say, pens. as Mike would clap say, you want to see Kamala clap <laughs> JD Vance's cheeks? <laughs> Metaphorically, people. Uh, no, to to David's point, I agree. It does feel like Walls was holding back, um, and that did frustrate me because I think that there's so much ammunition that he has. We didn't even bring up the uh, you know the single cat lady comment which has driven down his support. I think that oh, Tim Walls should have found yeah, some way to oh, shoehorn that yeah. in. You know, that there's little big, missed yeah. opportunities here and there that I think that Walls could have capitalized on. Having said that, though, I think that he did a good job at responding to attacks from J.D. Vance, but he wasn't really on the offensive that much of this debate. But he could have put J.D. Vance on the, uh, or I should say he wasn't on the defensive, but he should have put J.D. Vance on the defense of Moore, but he really didn't. He kind of let him get away with some of it. Uh, although, like, it wasn't it wasn't like he got away with too much. I think that that last part of the debate where J.D. Vance was asked, like, um, would you or do you think that Donald Trump lost the 2020 election? And he said, I'm looking towards the future. That was probably the most devastating part of the debate. And that's going to be yeah. a sticking point for sure, because democracy is, I guess, the second most important issue after the economy and inflation, according to the CBS hosts. Um, so I think that that's something that is probably going to be cut into an ad, rightfully so, by the Kamala team. Aside from that, though, um, it's a VP debate. These typically don't matter that much. But the caveat is that when the race is this close, it could have. And I feel part of me thinks that this was a little bit of a missed opportunity. I really I, I get what Matt is saying, and I think he's correct. 
but I wish that Walsh just went a little bit harder, turned up to heat just a tiny bit more. Because again, there's so much to work with with JD Vance. Yeah, he was also like, uh, I get going in and want to seem like the nice guy as, as as Tim Walls, but when JD Vance is is sort of recouping some of the the support that he has lost, like or like when he's out there polishing his image you can't just let him continue doing that. Like you got to right. undercut him. Like that that's that's when you change strategy. It's like, no, that actually we got, I got to hit you now because you are coming off as 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 more likable because you're like, "Oh, I agree with Tim Walls on this." And, "Oh, you know, actually uh, Trump is not bad." Like or like <laughs> he didn't say it that way, but the the way he mm -hmm. the way JD Vance was able to 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 dance around a lot of these topics and come off as somebody who I think to the average person at least appears to be more competent uh you have to as the opponent there undermine that and showcase no and, and the one time he did when he asked him did trump lose the election you you saw what happened jd vance couldn't answer yeah. the fucking question if there were more, more moments like that spread throughout the night i think that would have uh helped um walls in this debate because uh, again i don't think uh, i agree I, th I think it's kind of a wash like it's, it's it's the vp debate who cares anyways but I don't think I don't think JD Vance, you know, lost the debate. I don't think Walls lost the debate. It's, to me, it's just sort of like, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like a bunch of uh, I Walls came off clearly more knowledgeable. I hope that's clear to most people, even if you're not uh, knowledgeable of oh, the topics. The, it's clear Walls mm -hmm. knew what he was talking about. Compar the compar section, to JD Vance. The, yeah. the section where he was talking about like uh, I mean, I'm not an expert in this area, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to be general here. But he was getting very specific with uh farmers and things like uh, yeah. uh that uh, and he he seemed like like he, he wasn't a politician he was seemed like change. he was a guy he was talking about climate yes, change there he seemed like a guy who was like out there in the in the fields working with the farmers like he he was really knowledgeable about it and not as in like a, a detached sort of way like he was like in it way mm -hmm. that i i don't think i i've really uh heard from any sort of uh you know, national, uh, nation, national level politicians at a, on a debate stage that way. Yeah, he was really yeah. good on that, and I think that's going to resonate with the people who who need who who that needs to resonate with. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, but um, all in all, it is a VP debate. People aren't voting mm -hmm. based on the VP. Um, although you know, Vance is so unlikable. Maybe 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 there are <laughs> going to be at least a few people. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. Yeah. So I'm curious what you all think about the abortion portion of the debate. Um, I, I think that to me, it was important that they focused on J.D. Vance's extremism a little bit, but there was so much more. I hate that it, Walls did not bring up that he supported a national ban with no exceptions. Like he is the most extreme on this issue. And I kind of feel like he got away with it. Um, he didn't do well. Of course, it was a devastating portion of the debate for JD Vance, but I feel like there was so much more. I just feel like well, Mike, for Mike, me it's, overall, it's, it's not an abortion ban; it's an abortion standard. Okay, that's so true. He that's didn't true. Support an I forgot ban. about that. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of brought up, but he just like oh, was, right, not a ban, not a ban. It was a standard. Okay. In the past, you have supported a federal ban on abortion after 15 weeks. In fact, you said if someone can't support legislation like that, quote. You are making the United States the most barbaric pro-abortion regime anywhere in the entire world. My question is, why have you changed your position? Well, Nora, first of all, I never supported a national ban. I did during when I was running for Senate in 2022 talk about setting some minimum national standard. I just support <laughs> standards that apply to all 50 states. OK, minimum requirements. OK, but it's not a national ban. Yeah, that was funny. I forgot about that. It's just he's. Here's the problem with J.D. Vance. He is the Republican equivalent of Hillary Clinton. And it was obvious what he was trying to do. He was trying to come off as this affable, likable person, even agreeable at times with Tim Walls. Uh, and Tim Walls needed to not take that bait. Uh, he needed to be a little bit more aggressive, just a little bit more aggressive, not be affable in response and say, well, you know, I agree with you here as well. And to be fair, Tim Walls mostly did that with like the old quotes from J.D. Vance that were negative about Donald Trump. But I just feel like you're kind of playing into what he wants by doing that. And again, I'm being overly critical here uh, when I don't feel like I need to be because I, I don't think that the debate is going to be that consequential. But I just feel like maybe I set my expectations a bit too high for tim walls 
I, I think he's great. He's a phenomenal orator. And I think that that rural roots that he has, like that, that comes through and it's, it's going to appeal to Americans because he just seems like a very likable, personable person. But he's also very knowledgeable. And I just, I don't know. I, I think I wanted to see more fireworks. Uh, I wanted to see JD I, Vance I, face plant. I, I will say a missed opportunity, just like you brought up the, how the, the cat uh, uh, lady thing on, mm. on Vance, not bringing that up was a missed opportunity. Yeah. I'll say a, a missed opportunity for uh, uh, Waltz was not doing his, his, you know, the, the thing that got him there, uh, which is pointing out how weird Republicans are mm -hmm. in general. Like he didn't do that once. Right. Like that's, that's not uh, incompatible with the, the nice guy thing to simply point out that, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm worried for the country because of how weird these guys ideas are, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. it, it, he didn't, there was missed well, opportunities yeah. for sure. It, yeah, it, Trump well, said people yeah. are eating pets last debate. How do you not bring that up? Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Well, seemed he seemed too overcoached. Like he is like mm -hmm. he was told to not be mean. That's it. To 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 not go, you know, for the jugular. Like he he really and the, and the yeah the ongoing agreeing. It was just like oh my god. There's one point yeah. where he's like, I I know J D Vance cares about uh what was like I think it was like gun violence like yeah he fucking doesn't care about gun are you fucking right. why are you why are you humanizing him yeah uh, when clearly his policies showcase he does not care yeah it's just there there was no need to go out of it's one thing to like be just you know uh non-confrontational it's another to humanize your opponent uh, like uh, i don't think that benefits walls like uh, no, i don't know not at all bender you thought it was a good thing that he's like agreeing with them, like that some that Americans like that. I mean, but does he, that help he, he, Vance look better though? <laughs> just like, no, I mean, he, he didn't say he agreed with him. A lot of the things he said were like, "I agree with like the the we, we agree on the problem, but not like the solution." Um, you know, I I think I don't think he, Vance America cares about uh, violence at all. Uh, uh, yeah, of course there there were obviously he he, he was overdoing it. You don't got to do it all the mm -hmm. like it was too much. But yes, America likes to hear bipartisanship. It's the dumbest mm -hmm. thing imaginable because what they actually want is the least is the most partisan things imaginable. Mm -hmm. But they like this stupid fucking vague idea. They want a good ass show. Bipartisanship. Yes. They want they, yeah. they like it's it's yeah, but it is it is what it is. And I do think um I think he overdid it. But yeah, he needed I mean, to do JD it. Vance he is needed to do who... it to a point. Yeah, I feel like you need to do that, and that's true. Yeah, it's kind of an antiquated way of thinking because we're in the Trump era now where we're talking about fascists, and J.D. Vance would never humanize the people he's demonizing in the way that he gets to be humanized by his opponents. Like, he talked about Haitian immigrants and said that he had to create stories, and I'm glad that Tim Walsh brought that up, but he also said he was going to still continue to call them illegal immigrants even though they're literally here legally. And then, as you saw... He like had a fit when he couldn't explain how no 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 they're actually only here legally because of a program from Kamala Harris. They're here legally. Period. Springfield, Ohio does have a large number of Haitian migrants who have legal status, right. temporary protected status. Well, Mar 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 Nora, but, but thank you, no, Senator. We have no, no, so course. much to get to. Margaret, thank I, you, I think Nora. it's important we're because we're going to turn out of the, the debate, economy. Thank Margaret, you, Margaret. The, the, the rules were that the you economy, guys weren't going to fact check, and since you're fact checking me, I think it's important to say what's actually going on. So there's an application called the CBP One app, where you can go on as an illegal migrant, apply for asylum, or apply for parole, and be granted legal status at the wave of a Kamala Harris open border wand. How yeah. they are here legally doesn't matter because you say that legal immigration is not the problem, it's illegal immigration, but you're kind of contradicting yourself here and kind of showing your cards because you're saying, well, maybe it's about the people, maybe it's because they're black, like that's the subtext here. So I, that's why I do feel a little bit frustrated that Walls did not go balls to the walls uh pun intended but <laughs> at the end of the day he didn't do bad i think he did a good job i worry that he maybe comes off as a little bit wonky but i think maybe that's canceled out by the folksy appeal it's hard to gauge what americans will think about this i have to talk to like some of my uh my normie friends and family members who don't follow politics as closely because their takeaway is probably going to be what other americans think because for us 
our brains are just too rotted from consuming politics nonstop. So to me, I can watch that and say, yes, Tim Walls did great. He could have done better. But what's the average person going to think? I don't think that they're going to like J.D. Vance because he still came off as a very slimy politician. And that was really noticeable, especially towards the end when he just like shamelessly dodged that question. I'm going to look to the future. That is not something you want to say about something this serious. And the fact that he didn't prepare for a better response to that is really embarrassing. And I, I do think that China answer was so bad from Walls. It was just like, what, why it was, are you talking yeah. for 10 minutes about China? <laughs> you said you were in Hong Kong during the deadly Tiananmen Square protests in the spring of 1989. But Minnesota Public Radio and other media outlets are reporting that you actually didn't travel to Asia until August of that year. Can you explain that discrepancy? Your yeah, finance. well, and to the folks out there who didn't get at the top of this, look, I, uh, I grew up in small rural Nebraska, a uh, town of 400, town that you rode your bike with your buddies till the street lights come on, and I'm proud of that service. I joined the National Guard at 17, worked on family farms, and then I used the GI Bill to become a teacher, passionate about it, a young teacher. Uh, my first year out, I got the opportunity in the summer of 89 uh, to travel to China. 35 years ago, be able to do that. I came back home and then started a program to take young people there. We would take basketball teams, we would take baseball teams, we would take dancers, and we would go back and forth to China. The issue for that was, was to try and learn. Now look, my community knows who I am. They saw where I was at. They. Look, I, I will be the first to tell you, I have poured my heart into my community. I've tried to do the best I can, but I've not been perfect. And I'm a knucklehead at times, but it's always been about that. Those same people elected me to Congress. Governor, just to follow up on that, th the question was, can you explain the no, discrepancy? Just, all I said on this was, is I got there that summer and misspoke on this. So I, I will just, that's what I've said. I just answered the guy damn quiet. I was... The, the trip was 30 fucking years ago. I forgot. Like, I forgot what I was right. there. Right. And I was there in the, what was it, the, the aftermath of the team in square. Like, whatever. Like, the, it felt like I was there at the time because it, it happened around the same time. Like, who fucking cares? This is such a, such a weird question. But, again, yeah. if they're going to ask the question, you got to be ready to answer just honestly and quickly. Mm -hmm. When something right. like that is brought up, it's just bizarre. <clears throat> Yeah, it was giving uh, the 2020 debate when the moderators were trying to bring up Bernie Sanders' uh, comments he made about uh, Cuban's uh, healthcare system or something, or when he visited yeah. the Soviet Union for That's a right, yeah, or some shit. You know Soviet what I mean? Union. <laughs> it's like the Soviet Union. Uh, yeah, Mr. Sanders. I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> like, why? Why am like, I supposed to care about this? But yeah, I, I agree so with you, David. Ridiculous. I think that Walls like was trying to over-explain, but by over-explaining, he ended up looking a little bit sus when he doesn't need to feel... Yeah. Uh, he doesn't need to feel worried about this because it doesn't. It none of us like, care about this. It came off as, like, defensive when it didn't need exactly. to Exactly. Yeah, nobody gives a right. shit. Like, I don't give a fuck about this. Like, okay, what no. time was he in China? But now when people was care more. China? That, like, that would have been a forgettable moment if he just answered it quickly. Now it's like people will remember the yeah. weirdness when he had to... Eh, I, think, I, think you're, I, I think you're over... <laughs> You think overdoing, overdoing it too. I don't. I don't think it was just weird. It. The whole thing was weird. Yeah. The whole question well, was think weird. about why this was asked in the first place. Because Republicans are insinuating that this man is a fucking communist Maoist. He was in China, so he has some loyalty to the Chinese Communist Party. Like that's the Which, implication why the of fuck this. Is CBS by like they know that's bullshit. Yeah. Like the well, you know no, well, it goes CNN, to show you they yeah. had nothing else to criticize him for. That, that, so exactly. they had to appear had you know to go impartial. Nineteen eighty nine. They yeah. had to go back to nineteen eighty nine. Yeah. And CNN has the story ran the story about the china thing that's why they covered when, it of like course today? cnn did today yes oh uh, okay okay well good job cnn that's some real hard-hitting journalism fucking <laughs> like, it's not yeah. a fucking story i don't understand why it matters yeah Bizarre. it's more controversial to me that trump is praising uh the current hungarian dictator and going there and you know chumming it yep. up with him there are probably 200 more controversial things that J.D. Vance has said or done or inconsistencies in what he has said that were not brought up that are much worse than right. um, mistaking when you went to China. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> right. like, it's so strange. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? 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 <laughs> tree? They not like us. Tree? They all talk about Tree? <laughs> you think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs>